Hi, I'm Evan Soroka. I am a certified yoga therapist based in Aspen, Colorado. I am a type 1 diabetic and this year is my 20th anniversary with type 1 diabetes. I was diagnosed at 13 and I would not be where I am today in terms of my health and my resilience to this debilitating illness if it weren't for the practices of yoga and more specifically my regular yoga therapy practice. How do I explain what it's like? Here it is. Like when I was younger and I would get a hypoglycemia experience, a low, it was so scary and debilitating and that feeling um, is so visceral of survival that I would like eat the entire kitchen and with, with no self-control because it was so uncomfortable what I was feeling that I had to survive and, um, and there was no stopping me, right? But now with regular practice and discipline and awareness, I'm not saying it happens all the time, but more often than not, I'm able to manage my lows before they happen, not just because of my CGM, but when I do get low, when it does happen, that I'm able to create a spaciousness in that 15, 20 minute interim where you feel awful, like literally it's like that feeling like you're dying you know you know if you're type 1 diabetic what it feels like and i'm able to have the 15 carbs and just be and that's what yoga therapy affords you is the ability to refine that to be able to be with what's surfacing uncomfortable sensations uncomfortable emotions feelings all of these things and to not let them drive you. That's power, right? If it weren't for my practice, I wouldn't be outside doing all the things that I love to do. I'm an avid mountain biker, skier, snowboarder, adventurer, and um, I wouldn't have the courage to do it if it weren't for the time that I take to get really quiet, to feel, to process, to breathe, to move. And, and really it's that, that moving of, of the effects of diabetes. It gives you so much space and calm. And it's very, very helpful when, when with all the technology we're living with, like I love my CGM, I love my insulin pump, I love to be able to test my blood sugar, uh, but it's, it's hard too because you're getting so much information. It's overwhelming, it's inundating, it's stressful. You're having to live between these two numbers of what high and low is. And if you're anywhere outside of this, you're doing something wrong or you're a bad person, right? Imagine that. And then there's the times when you're just trying to work or just trying to get stuff done and you can't, you have to stop, you have to take care of yourself. You have to be able, when you're feeling horrible, to communicate to other people what you're feeling and why they need to understand that you're feeling that way and you can't right then and there. That's what yoga is going to help you refine your ability to do, not only to improve, uh, improve your relationship to type 1 diabetes, improve your, your, your relationship to others and your ability to communicate. You'll be able to resolve uh, the uncomfortable sensations and side effects of being high glucose, low glucose, or my favorite, which is the roller coaster effect when you're high and then you're low and then you're high and then you're low again. You know what I'm talking about. About. that's the worst one so what if you had the tools to go to anytime you wanted to to take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to an hour to do something for yourself this is like mental gymnastics right just as we want to take time to go to the gym to move our bodies to sweat it's just if not more important to take the time to work with your nervous system to work with your resilience to stress, to, to work with your mind, right? 
and to not let the mind control you and, and how you are showing up in your life, right? This is about living fully and completely, not letting diabetes define you, not letting it determine everything that you do in your life. It's just making you stronger in the interim. Right, so let's let's use this challenge um, and the tools of yoga to do everything we can to to live to the best of our capacity. Right, achieve more and and to to thrive. <laughs> Thank you.